Hey, it's Enigma Hood here. Uh, I thought I would uh, show off my video game collection because I don't know what else to talk about right now, but I'm going to have a real video later, but eh, we'll just take a look at my collection. I spent so much money on all this shit, I might as well show it off a little bit. Okay, so here, th this bookshelf right here is where I keep most of my collection. On the top uh, three shelves, I keep the video games. Bottom two shelves, I keep video game magazines mostly and some other uh, books. Okay, let's look at the top, the top shelf. <clears throat> okay, looks like we have God of War, which I beat. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, which I did not beat and have not played extensively, but I will. Sly 2 and Sly 3 I have not even played yet. Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3 I have beaten all three of them and they are all, uh, they are all excellent games. Uh, I like Up Your ar Arsenal the best. Bully I played but I have not beaten it yet and it's pretty good. It has pretty good graphics. Much better graphics than Grand Theft Auto uh, three or Vice City, but um, gameplay is 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 good, but it's not as good as the Grand Theft Auto games. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I've beaten and it is excellent. I love this game. I highly recommend it to anyone. Shadow of the Colossus, right there. These games are all red label. Collect uh, the um, greatest hits edition. Uh, Final Fantasy twelve, I have played, but I have not beaten it yet. It did not really engross me as much as Final Fantasy X. Maybe I should hold the camera like this, I don't know. What, what do you think? Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, right? <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, Twisted Metal Black. Uh, I have played it, but I have not been it and I have not gone very far in it. Devil May Cry 3. I have played it, I have beaten it. This one is the special edition red label. Uh, which has a bunch of extras, and from what I heard, it is uh, a little bit easier than uh, the original Devil May Cry 3, which the black that was the black label. Okay, uh, Jack and Daxter: The Precursor's Legacy. That's the that's the original one. I have not even played it yet, and I'm pretty sure it's unopened. Let me just. Yep, still has. Still sealed. Uh, I'll get to it sooner or later. Jack 2, that is also uh, unopened. Let's see. Yep, not opened yet, and I've not played it yet. But, you know, I have it. Uh, Jack 3, I have played it, but I have not beaten it yet. Yeah, we can take a look. It is. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's open, of course. Uh, I played Jack 3 first because. I think it, I, I read from the reviews that it's the best one, so I figure might as well go for the best one first then play the other ones later. Th the same thing happened with um, the Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, I played uh, the, um, what is that, Going Commando first, then I played Up Your Arsenal second, and then the original last. And uh, I enjoy Up Your Arsenal the best. Okay. Okami. I have uh, played it, but I have not beaten it, and I have not gone very far in it. I want to, though. Uh, there are so many other games to play, though. I mean, look at all this shit. Okay. Uh, Arcana Heart. You know, I don't really consider fighting games as a game that you can really beat, unless you consider beating them with every single character. Uh, so, I have obviously played it, but I have not played it extensively. In fact, out of all the fighting games I have, I think I played this one the least. Not because it's a bad game, but because there's I haven't really gotten around to it yet. But it is a very good game. I really like the graphics. It has 2D graphics. I'm a really big fan of... Uh, let me just pull this out. No, no, not that one. That's Arcana Heart. It uh, features a cast of fighters, which are entirely made up of females. So it's... Uh, unique in that respect. Okay, Persona 3. I should pull these out, right? Persona 3. This one is the special edition, which comes with the second 
story, which I have not played yet, but I have uh, I have beaten the uh, the first story, which is called The Journey, and the second story is called The Answer. The Answer, from what I've read in reviews, is just, it's not as good. So, I'm going to put that on hold until later. Okay, um... Shin Megami Tensei, Nocturne. Pull this one out. This one... Is there a lot of glare on this? Pull it out over here. I have not played this one at all yet. But I did open it. But I have not played it. Odin Sphere. This is also a, a really good one with excellent 2D graphics. Really, really great. Oh man, the glare. Okay, how about that? Odin Sphere. Really great 2D graphics. I love these graphics. I'm a huge fan of 2D games. Uh, I am currently playing this one. And this one's the black label one. They have a red label one now, right now. But I got the black label one version. Uh, made by the same company. Uh, actually, you know, Grim Grimoire, who, who made this? Who made this fucking game? Atlas published it. And it was developed by... Damn it, it doesn't even fucking say. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, don't, I can't remember. I just remember they, these guys made Princess Crown, Odin Sphere, and they also made this other game right next to it, Grim Grimoire. Uh, the difference is Grim Grimoire uh, has a very simple, similar graphic style. Uh, I think it's NIS America. No, no, I think, I think that's just the publisher. Okay, I'm not doing a very good analysis here, but as you can see, the graphic style is very similar, very similar. Uh, but this one is not um, a side-scrolling RPG like Odin Sphere was. This game is uh, actually a real-time strategy game, similar to StarCraft, uh, except the view is from the side-scrolling perspective. So it's it's interesting. I played it just a little bit. I have not played it extensively, and I have not been it obviously. Okay, Atelier Iris, uh, Eternal Mana, that's another uh, 2D game, 2D RPG. Take a look at the back, really, really nice 2D graphics. I've tried it, I just, you know, checked it out, and it was really good. It has really good graphics, I have not played it extensively though, but I plan on it. Later. And right next to it, Valkyrie Profile 2. Uh, this one uses 3D graphics, RPG. I have not played it extensively. In fact, I, I have not played it at all. Uh, still sealed. Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, which is a great game. Uh, includes all of the Alpha games. Alpha 1, 2, 3, and I believe uh, uh, Alpha... I think it's Alpha 1 Gold or Alpha 2 Gold. I can't remember. King of Fighters 11. I played this one quite a bit and it's really, really good. Uh, so many fucking characters in this game. So many fucking characters in King of Fighters 11. I don't know any of them. All I know is that, that girl in the red who doesn't wear much clothes. But there are a lot of characters like that in this game. So feed. The Lost Planet, I played it uh, a little bit. I have not beaten it. Um, it is a really good game. It's a sequel to a game called Sylphide on the Sega CD, which was one of the few games... Oh, I'm shaking this fucking thing too much. Uh, which was one of the few games on the Sega CD that was actually quite good. It's a shoot 'em up I can take it out. Check it over here. Feed. Kind of interesting. Uses polygons, but it's a, a traditional shoot 'em up game, similar to R Type, except with a very unique perspective. It's not top down, it's kind of isometric view. Uh, next game is Maximo Army of Zin. Maximo Army of Zin, which is the sequel to. Uh, Maximo on 
the PS2, obviously, which was uh, called uh, 